Hi there, handbaggers, and welcome to the Duck's Nest. This is the Military Mom coming to you from the Operations Center. And I want to take a moment just to wish everyone a happy Easter. I know that those of us who celebrate Easter are celebrating it probably in a very abnormal way. But, you know, we do what we have to do. And I want to read to you a passage from my mom's King James Bible. And it is in the New Testament, the book of 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, beginning with the 23rd verse. For I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. So why am I reading this particular passage? It's because I am craving communion. My soul and my spirit are craving communion. I don't, I, I haven't had communion since this whole pandemic began and I'm just craving communion. So that is where that came from. Now we will move on to the second portion of the video, I am going to share um, two sub collections from my handbag collection, and then I'm going to wrap it up with a reveal. And the reason it is a reveal is because I really wanted to open the box, spray the bag down, all that good stuff. All right, so with this outfit that I'm wearing, I was thinking about two bags because of this tunic, um, it's crocheted with the open pattern there. Um, because this tunic is so dramatic, and when I say dramatic, I mean the collar, because the collar can be such a diva. She can be worn, let me show you really quickly. She can be worn off the shoulder. She can be worn as a portrait collar and then my favorite way to wear her, honestly, is just a plain old cow neck. But because she's such a diva, um, I don't think she's going to accommodate the bag that I really wanted to wear, which is my navy blue nylon Nina by Dooney and Burke with this gorgeous hot pink lining. Can you all see that? And the reason I love Nina is because she has a front exterior zip pocket. I love this particular Nina for so many reasons, you all. She's nylon. She's lightweight. She doesn't have a whole lot of hardware. She passes the elbow test. And I love the buckle treatment on the front and the back. And I don't have to worry about any kind of weather. However, mm, with this collar and these double straps, I don't know. I don't know. So I thought also about my Dooney and Burke Pouchet with the multicolored DBs. And I was going to wear these shoes. You all, these shoes. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that exaggerated toe box. Look at that pointed, exaggerated toe box in this shoe. No wonder our feet hurt. <laughs> but anyway. Um, back to the bag, so the pouche, and then because of the dramatic collar, I was thinking about this Dooney and Burke pouche. And the reason I was thinking about these pouches is because they only have a single strap, and if necessary, I could detach the shoulder strap and carry it as a clutch. Now, these pouches normally do not come with detachable shoulder straps. I made some modifications to my pouches to make them work for me. I removed the original strap and replaced 
them on both bags with detachable straps which this bag is a little less fussy I think than my Nina but anyway so yeah here's my Pouche collection all two bags <laughs> and I'm going to show you my Nina collection I've already shown you this one the next one is my signature Nina with the Vaquetta trim and I added the um, heart charm and then the final Nina is the one that I have a love-hate relationship with it is my patent leather Nina and the reason I have a love-hate relationship with this bag is only because of the material this patent leather um, she doesn't pass the elbow test as easily. She, she passes with a little wiggling and she's not bad at all, but let's talk about patent leather, shall we? All right. So let me just share my patent leather collection with you. There's the Nina. And then I have this Duny and Burke Janine and I love almost everything about this bag. Mm, not so crazy about the patent leather, but I love the color. I love the Vaquetta trim. Love, love, love these rolled handles with the buckles. The Duny and Burke text logo. Did I mention color? Love the color. That, by the way, that bag was a gift from a tribe sister. Then we have my Coach Willis in patent leather. Great, great exterior pocket. Bonnie Cashin turn lock. Poppy interior. And my Duny and Burke cosmetic case. My favorite Duny and Burke cosmetic case. And then I have these fold over Duny and Burke clutches that have the attachments on the back for straps, which are very short. This is mink, and this is, I think this is plum wine, but honestly, I can't remember the official color. And last but not least is this Carrington pouch in this beautiful color, not quite the same as my Nina but really close and this is a Carrington pouch that I bought for the specific purpose of gifting it to a tribe sister and you all look what happened yes the infamous and all too familiar color transfer when it comes to patent leather which is why I am scared to death of this bag because I don't want anything to happen to it but I don't know how I got color transfer when this pouch came to me from eBay it was new with tags it did not have this color transfer I must have in doing something set it against something and it picked up some color transfer and I was heartbroken because I could not gift it to my tribe sister but it sort of worked out because I used this as a cosmetic case in a coach bag that has a raw suede interior and since it already has color transfer I don't have to worry about this getting color transfer from the raw interior of that bag so yeah that's that's my Nina collection my patent leather collection and my Pouche collection so now let's move on to the reveal it is a piece that I bought from eBay of course and there's a story behind this bag that I'll try to tell you all quickly but uh, let me just show you the bag first this little number is a bag that is by Cole Hahn I don't know can you see that um, engraving there and there's Cole Hahn um, and those of you who follow my channel or who drop by occasionally may know that last week's video 
unboxed a Kohan tote that was black with whip stitching and weaving on the side. And I don't know, maybe I'm on a Kohan hunt or something. I'm on a Kohan something because this is the second bag. And I am not really a, I don't know. I'm, I was going to say I'm not really a fan of Kohan, but maybe I need to change that and say I wasn't really a fan of Kohan because I really, really like that tote from last week. And I think I'm going to like this bag. And the reason that I bought this bag is uh, threefold because it's barrel shaped first and foremost. And I did not have a serious barrel shaped bag in my collection. Second of all is um, the Croco. And third of all is the um, exterior side pockets with the silver hardware. So let me show you all this bag. This is my Dooney and Burke Alto Satchel and she opens really wide. She's just a great simple bag, but I cannot carry this bag anymore. I tried. This is the bag that I carried to my mom's funeral. And every time I pick up this bag, every time I look at this bag, I think about my mom's funeral. And honestly, I just don't want to. So I think I may retire this bag. I really like this bag. But if I retire it, I'm not going to miss it because I have a brown bag uh, that is identical to this bag. And here's another bag that I bought. This I bought this as a beater bag from eBay in this barrel shape just to see if I would like the barrel shape. And there are a couple of features that I really like about this bag. Um, she has a nice double tassel zipper pull, nice capacity, and she has double interior zippers. Can you all see that? There's a zipper there, and then there's a zipper there. Um, but the one reason that I'm going to retire this bag is that she does not pass the elbow. I can't wiggle her into passing the elbow. So, and then she's a bit too, I don't know, just a bit too long to carry in the crook of my arm. And this, this is a bag that I would want to sling over my shoulder not carrying the crook of my arm so I'm probably going to retire this one but again I bought it just to see if I would like the barrel shape and then this bag is my Duty and Burke Croco satchel and oh my gosh you all the Croco on this bag was done so well but I think where Dooney failed is Dooney did not take this leather all the way to the base of the bag because it makes that center section very flexible um, this cloth does and it makes zipping and unzipping just not it doesn't work for me um, and I, I really 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 like almost everything about this bag so I replaced all three of those bags with this Kohan bag and let me just show you really quickly these side zip compartments are wonderful because first of all, look at the color. Isn't that the most beautiful color? Oh my gosh. And then the expandable interior slips with the elastic. So you've got this main compartment and then you've got this interior slip compartment all before you even get into the main compartment of the bag. These would be nice for... Um, Cosmetics, anything you need quick access to. It wouldn't hold a cell phone unless you're carrying a flip phone. But this bag also has an exterior magnetic pocket that would probably hold a cell phone. Nice silver hardware. Nice zippers. This hardware on the exterior of this bag is not cheap looking at all. Look at the um, buckle there, Kohan, and then the attachments for the rolled collapsible handles. And yes, she does pass elbow, unlike my Dooney and Burke barrel bag. 
So the main compartment is accessed by this um, magnetic, rather narrow opening, nothing like my Dooney and Burke satchel that opens really, really wide. This one does not. And then there is the one interior compartment, a zippered compartment. So this bag has four compartments, five if you count the main compartment, one, two, three, four, and then the main compartment, which does not have, like I said, doesn't have a wide opening, but that lining is just beautiful. It makes me happy when I look at it. So that is the reveal. And this is the replacement for all of those bags. My little Cole Haan barrel bag in the color black with Croco embossing. So I think that is all that I wanted to share with you all, except I will be so happy when the beauticians, the salons, and the barbers are allowed to operate again. Because you all, I'm working on a TWA, a teeny mini afro, and I just don't want to. I do not want any kind of maintenance that I have to worry about. I want my head shorn so that I can just spray, brush, and go like I normally do. But yeah. Anyway, Corona, you need to go away. Thank you all so much for dropping by the duck's nest. Happy Easter. And as always, happy caring.